Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kiana and I do a lot of sewing and fashion videos. A couple months ago, I did a video where I kind of like rated all of the clothes I made during high school and you guys really like that so I decided to do the college version of that and for those of you who are new here I just graduated with a degree in fashion and textile design from North Carolina State University and a minor in entrepreneurship so because I did study fashion in college the volume of clothing that I created is quite large so to help with that i'm just going to be covering the clothes i made for college courses the clothes that i made for a grade that was required for graduation so that basically excludes all of the collections i have ever made except for my senior collection which you guys have seen a bunch so i'm not going to get too into that but yeah other than that i have four collections that i made during college that was not for a class so if you guys want to see those more in depth let me know anyways we're gonna just jump into it i'm gonna start in chronological order so literally from freshman year all the way to senior year there will probably definitely be a progression from me struggling to me finally learning so let's start with freshman year wait, wait, wait i want to make one edit i'm not gonna be showing just clothing but i'm going to be showing things like related to fashion and textile design so like illustrations as well but it's mostly clothing so okay so starting off with our first ever project we made i painted this circle skirt oh my gosh i remember thinking what have i gotten myself into this took hours and hours and hours i painted it with paint sticks so like I drew it on and then I used my fingers to rub it in and afterwards like my fingers were all blistery because you're rubbing in duck cloth like canvas and it was oh my god it was so painful but here's the skirt and here's my sketchbook that went along with it. I was inspired by like the faces of the sky how basic. I did a lot of like practicing before I went into the skirt which is kind of the theme for everything. Oh and here's some pictures of me in it. <gasps> Cute little me, Aww. Okay, so that is the first project. I'm going to rate this, honestly, an eight out of 10 because I honestly just really like the colors. It's very out of my comfort zone too and I thought I did good. I'm gonna be rating everything just for a little bit more fun. I'm not like comparing myself to other people. I'm like gonna compare myself to myself, if that makes sense. So if you're like, why did you give that a 10? That is awful. It's because I thought it was good, so. Yeah, and if you're like, why did you give that a three? That was amazing. It's because I thought it was bad. So I'm rating it based off of myself, okay? Anyways, so next up we have this. This is the prototype to this. I did not bring this to my apartment because it has cut me so many times. It has sliced through my fingers, through my legs and everything. So I did not want to deal with that. But this was the prototype. Basically, the project was to make something avant-garde, to make your own textiles, and to make it only out of recycled materials. So I made mine out of reflective plastic, bicycle tires, and like wire, like floral wire to give it the shape. Oh, and also like VCR tapes. And here are some of my boards. This was the original board. I was inspired by a snail. Ooh. And then this was my final board. Oh my gosh, the sketch is a little bit frightening, but here's me also wearing it. Fun. I'm gonna give this honestly a 9 out of 10. I had a lot of fun making it. Took forever. Not super obsessed with how this turned out because I'm not, I'm like a very much a wearable clothing type of gal, so I didn't like love it, but I thought it turned out good, so 9 out of 10. Also, during freshman year, we did something called 60 drawings. It's not only drawings, it's like paintings, everything, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so the project was we had to pick 12 objects and then draw it in five different styles, so 60 drawings total so let's show you the dog because the dog was my favorite okay so to give you an example here i have one of my objects it's a dog and these are the five different styles so the first one i used graphite and i just did like a hatching type of thing this one i did pop art this was like my favorite drawing out of all of them look how cute ah and i used markers for this this is color this is looks like a three-year-old drew it i'm gonna be honest I think I said it was Cuban, Cubism? Cubism, yeah. And then this, I just have like micron pencils and watercolor. I don't know if you can see the watercolor on camera. It's just minimal. And then this seems to be pointillism and it looks like it's done with gouache. 
I'm okay with this. I'm not mad at that. I loved doing the pop art type of thing. Yeah, I love the pop art. I liked the minimalism and I also really liked the gouache pointillism. I'm gonna give this project like a seven out of 10. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the last thing I'm gonna show you from freshman year, obviously we had like way more projects in this, but I don't wanna show you all the little assignments. I'm just showing you the big projects. I only have pictures, so here's the garment I made, modeled by my wonderful friend, Ave. Basically, the assignment was to be inspired by an artist. My artist was Richard Pousset Dart. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but basically just translate his art into clothing and then also do hand techniques with also like machine techniques. So here's my board for hand techniques. I did paint sticks and like cutting. And then for this board, I did laser etching and more laser cutting. I'm gonna rate this an eight out of 10 because it's a little odd, but I think that's what makes it fun, you know? That is freshman year. Moving on to sophomore year. And this is where things start getting exciting. I start making things I actually genuinely love. So. First, we're gonna go into a class that produced a lot of projects that I'm gonna show you. I think just actually four, <laughs> a lot. Um, this was fashion design one. Here's the first thing I made. Very basic, but you know me, I love making things that are wearable and simple and well-made. I don't know how well-made this is. It's made out of denim. You know I love a good black and white contrasting moment. So yeah, I feel like I could totally just take pictures on a tennis court with this. That's the vibes I'm getting. I love this. It's kind of boring though, so I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. Okay, next up, whew, some of my favorite things I've made for a class ever. So I'm gonna show them kind of at the same time. Here they are on a hanger. I have lots of amazing photos in them. We had to pick a designer um, high fashion designer. Mine was Jean-Paul Gaultier. Again, not great with the pronunciations. I studied his stuff and then like picked some aspects to be inspired and design my own garment. So that's where the inspiration came from for this. If you guys have stalked my Instagram, which my Instagram is Kian Bonolo, go ahead, stalk me, follow me. Um, you've seen these items because they were also part of a collection I did my sophomore year of college. So I just kind of like recycled these into the collection. So this is a blazer dress. Love this, I love this. And then this is, oh, I don't even know what you'd call it, but I, I have like a one shoulder lapel detail. Cute! So freaking innovative, cute, love it. Thank you, Jean-Paul Gaultier for inspiring us. Oh yeah, look, I have this little prototype. Ah, oh, look how cute. I am going to rate this a 10 out of 10 because I love this project. I loved thinking outside of the box, getting out of my comfort zone. And then they ended up being part of a collection that I did like in my free time, but I entered into my college fashion show and I won first place in the advanced category. So we love this project. And then the last project I have from that class, fashion design one, um, not my favorite, <laughs> honestly. So first we have the top and it has like little buttons on the sleeves. Like I tried to make it look like it was, what is it called? Like a placket, like a button placket. The fabric I used was not amazing. I don't love the quality of this fabric, so. But I do love the skirt I made. So shorts in the back, skirt in the front, and then I have these little like rings and straps on the skirt. I love the skirt. I wear this skirt all the time going out. So thank you Fashion Design One for giving me a party skirt. Cause I love the skirt and I hate the shirt. I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10, seven out of 10. Okay, another class from sophomore year. Ooh, I did not love this class. It was all on textile design. I don't remember the name of the class. We're just gonna, we're gonna call it textile design for now. My major is fashion and textile design. I would not call myself a textile designer. Anyways, here are a few things. So, so these were digital prints, I'm pretty sure. So I drew the motifs and then brought them into Kalido. Is that the software we used? I think, Kalido. So here are some examples. Here is that print basically like on a smaller scale. My little ditzy print um, and then a stripe. And then I have it also in another colorway. I didn't love this. 
but I liked my flowers, I guess. Um, you know what? We'll be nice to myself. 8 out of 10 for this project. Okay, so the next project, we used the Jacquard weaving machine. So we got to weave our fabric and then make something. I tried to make a wizard cape. <laughs> I called this dark forest. And there is like trees and stars and a moon. And I just really wanted to make a wizard cape, okay? <laughs> okay, so here's my board for that. Here's it like texture mapped onto a skirt. Me and some pictures, my inspo, my fabric swatches, and then the motifs I made. Yeah, I loved this. It fits awful, horribly. It does not fit. It's like for a child basically. Um, but I thought it was a fun little thing. I'm gonna give this a seven out of 10 again. The next project. I have a garment and I have like fabric samples. So let me show you the fabric samples. I remember doing this project and being overwhelmed with all the other stuff I was doing at the time. And I was like, I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to not edit it. I'm not going to put all my time and effort into this. The result, it looks like I was on something while making this. I, I was not, I can tell you that. <laughs> You'll understand when you see the dress. You're like, you're gonna be like, what the heck is that? Um, but here are, here is just an eye that is bloodshot red. What the heck? <laughs> um, another colorway. Yeah. Okay. So here's the samples, and then here is the dress. What in? the world <laughs> ah, it's very trippy that's what it is so we got an eye we got some flounces it's knit oh also by the way this was a knitting project so we got to knit our own fabrics and then here is my board for that Woo! i texture mapped i think yeah this is texture mapping this is my rendering inspo all that jazz okay I'm gonna give that a six out of 10 because it is a little, maybe a five, uh, six out of 10 because it's fun, but a little frightening. Anyways, why are there so many projects sophomore year? We have like so many sophomore year and we have like not a lot junior, senior year. Anyways, oh, that's why. Okay, moving on. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go into one of my favorite classes, very surprisingly, illustration. Just regular old illustration. Um, I had never really taken any like 2D art classes in like high school, middle school, so I didn't know if I was going to be any good. It was kind of scary, but I had the most amazing teacher, so let me show you some of those projects. Okay, here I am. This is going to go really quick because they're just pictures. So first project was charcoal drawing. I did not like come up with the inspo for this picture myself. I just copied one of the examples our teacher gave us. That was the project to copy one of the photos because we were learning how to draw. And this is the first time I've worked with charcoals and I really, really love how it turned out. I'm going to give this honestly a 10 out of 10 because I had a lot of fun with this. And I learned that I'm actually good at drawing, so. Yay! This was actually our final project, so I don't know why I'm showing this first. It's just on top. This is my friend Parker I drew. She's like, her face is like melting, literally, in the drawing. Um, I have this like white piece of fabric over her. I don't love the background. I think the background could be better, but it was a fun project. This is also charcoal. I'm gonna give this an 8 out of 10. This is a graphite drawing of my teacher, but yeah, I just did it with the graphite pencils. I don't love how blended it is. It could be a little bit more blended, but I did this as a still life photo. So our teacher was sitting at the front of the room and I was like all the way in the back and I drew this from just looking, which I think is pretty good. So I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10 because look how presidential. Wow, amazing. Next, we have a pen drawing. They're literally drawn with scribbles. If you can see it. Oh my God. Okay, they're literally drawn with scribbles but it looks like shading from far away. I don't love the background of this. I wasn't super happy with this project, so I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. And then finally, I did this with graphite powder. So, you know, graphite is what is in pencils, um, but this is powder form. So you just pour the graphite powder in a cup and then I drew it all by dipping a Q-tip into the cup and then using the Q-tip to draw. So this is our perspective project. 
I really, really love this one. I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. You know what, 10 out of 10, I love this one. She's good, she's good, okay. And then two more things, sophomore year, I did a fashion illustration class, so let me show you two of those projects. Okay, first one, boom, here is the illustrations. You guys will recognize this dress. Yeah, so I did this with watercolor. Did I do it with gouache? I think I did, th I think I did do this with gouache, because I remember people being surprised. Yeah, I don't love this. I don't, I don't love my croquis ever. So I'm gonna give this like a six out of 10. Eh. And then my last illustration project I have on the wall in my studio. So let me bring you guys over there. And this I had to be inspired by an artist. My artist was Charlene Von Hale and I designed a fall winter collection based off of her artwork. I really love this. Again, I don't think my illustrations are the best, but it was such a fun project out of my comfort zone. So seven out of 10. Oh, and then one more project sophomore year. Wow, sophomore year has a lot of projects. Um, I don't have it with me. I lost it. Where is it? I don't know. And I love that dress. So I'm just a little upset right now, but here is a dress. I made it for my pattern making class. It was our final project. So I did it all with flat pattern making, no draping. Asymmetric, very cute, very fun. We love her. 10 out of 10 for that one. Where is she though? I don't know. Okay, moving on to junior year. Let's get started with draping class. This is our final project. Draping had a lot of like little mini projects. I'm just gonna show the final project. Here is a dress I made for dra Okay. <laughs> It looks awful when you just hold it up. It looks like this needs to like stretch out on a person for you to understand it. So I'll just insert some footage. I love this dress. So fun to make. So out of my comfort zone. I guess that's like the recurring theme is things are out of my comfort zone. Um, that's kind of what I used college for to like learn. Part of my final project was this as well. I made this leather jacket, faux leather my friends with gold hardware and i did this with draping also i put my little tag on here Chiamanolo. how cute is that i'm gonna give it a nine out of ten because i wasn't quite there yet i wasn't quite there yet but we were almost there hi is that the only thing i have for junior year to show you junior year i had a lot of business classes for my minor business classes fashion business classes for my major and then like polymer color chemistry textile medical science, textile technology classes. So, oh my God, do I not have anything else? Also, that's when COVID struck. So I li that's literally all I have to show you. Okay, junior year, done. <laughs> okay, moving on to senior year, I guess. We had a menswear class senior year, first semester senior year. Unfortunately, your girl did not take it seriously. So I only have two projects left from that when we had like six projects. I straight up like made them in a couple hours and then immediately threw them away after submitting them because I, I didn't I, I didn't put any effort into that class. I was focused on starting my YouTube channel. <laughs> so here is this jacket I made for my menswear class. It is literally probably for a 10 year old boy, the size of it. I cannot put it on. Probably an eight year old boy. Three out of 10 for that. I also made this vest. It's like well constructed. I made it super fast. I'm gonna give this a, a, a four out of 10. No effort whatsoever was put into that. Oh, I have this vest too with it. I actually made this, wait, I made this freshman year, this vest for class two. Um, three out of 10. Okay, and then you guys have seen this before. If you follow me, I took a couture sewing independent studies class. I worked with one of my teachers very closely. This was during the pandemic, so we only could see each other on Zoom. But here is the dress. <sighs> you guys know I'm obsessed with this. Look at the beading. I used a couture beading technique called tambour beading to do that. I used all 100% silk. Oh, it is such a beautiful design. Let me gas myself up. It is a beautiful design. Unfortunately, the construction was not the best. Um, I sewed most of it by hand because I'm in a couture class. And also I was just struggling to work with the fabric and the engineering of it. So because of the construction, I'm gonna say this is a seven or an eight, but the design, the beading, the idea, is very beautiful. Oh, and then of course we have 
my senior collection, which I'm not going to sit here and show you. I'll insert a bunch of clips because for a couple of months, that's literally all my channel was about. I have a full lookbook video on my channel that I will post a card and a link to that you should go and watch if you have not seen that already. It was quite a production. I filmed, edited it myself very very fun it's only three minutes long and then in that video description i have all the links to the patterns and tutorials for all of the clothing that i made for my senior collection and i'm gonna give my senior collection straight up 10 out of 10. it was so fun to make i finally got to take like all the creative liberties i've always wanted to take because you know when you're doing class projects there are always prompts and a rubric and stuff like that and you can't always do exactly what you want to do. So my senior collection was super fun because I finally got to do that. And I also got to share it with you guys. So that's definitely a 10 out of 10. Yeah, so I think that is all I have for you guys today. Let me know what your favorite piece was that I've made for my college classes or let me know what your least favorite piece was honestly i will not be offended please let me know oh and if you guys want to see like a video like this on my collections because i have four other collections one of those that has not aired anywhere yet <laughs> um let me know because i can talk about those a little bit more and those collections honestly i put way more heart and soul and time and effort into than i did like all of these projects combined. I prioritized my collections because I knew that was the direction I wanted to go in and that's what I enjoyed the most. So those collections are my best work. My college projects are good work, but not my best work. So let me know if you want to see that and yeah. Oh, if you like this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up. It is the easiest way to support your favorite creators for free. And feel free to also follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My handle is Kiana Bonolo. So yeah, I think that's everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.